What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So this is gonna be kind of customizing icons aesthetic on iOS 15. This is my 12 Pro Max on iOS 15. It's pretty much the same process as iOS 14, but I always like to do these kind of videos in my kind of stream setup, I guess you could say. And yes, I will be doing a live stream here again soon. I know people have been wanting me to do that. Uh, but I'm going to customize my iPhone icons on iOS 15. It's going to be a bit of a longer video. Uh, so if you guys know how to do this, I understand. I also wanted to do this for the new Bulldog theme. Uh, so if you guys don't know, uh, this is one of my favorite icon creators. Uh, and there is a new theme that he has created called Ethereal. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, but all of his uh, all of his information is available just right in his Twitter, as you guys can see here. It is uh, 350, I think, euro or something. It ends up being like five dollars USD. I actually just gave him 20 bucks because I appreciate his work, and I have the icons downloaded here. So I'm going to show you guys what I do when I get a new theme and how I customize my my iPhone, basically. So uh, I know a lot of people are going to ask me what. <laughs> what this setup is right now. Um, this is kind of stock. It's a jailbreak theme that I ported over uh, to be used on my non-jailbroken iPhone. Uh, so I did port this over. I've done videos on how to do this in the past. Uh, all you gotta do is search my channel. You'll be able to find how to port over jailbreak themes to a non-jailbroken device. Uh, so it's a mixture of kind of stock and also actual stock icons. Uh, just putting that out there so you guys know what it is. But like I said, in this video, we're going to customize the iPhone to have the ethereal icons, which I think look freaking awesome. So these are the icons. I'll give you guys kind of a preview here so you can see what they look like. Uh, now this theme is technically in beta and it is not available for jailbroken devices yet. Uh, the jailbreak version will be coming out this weekend. And I think this weekend, he's also gonna start taking icon requests if there's a certain icon or application that you guys want, uh, you can request it and maybe he will make an icon for it. But uh, this is ethereal. As you guys can see, it is pretty damn awesome looking. Uh, like I said, just one of my favorite icon creators. And I think his style is absolutely awesome. And there's a lot of icons to start with, as you guys can see there. So there's quite a bit of icons to choose from. Now, the way I like to kick this off is I want to save, I'm basically gonna have this same setup that you guys are seeing now, except for just the different icons. I like having it as one page, um, keeps it simple. I like the widget or the widgy widget the way it is. Uh, so we are going to start customizing this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the widget and I'm gonna throw my docked icons um, onto this page. So what I can do is I can save this page and then I can go back to it. And just uh, for information, these are more icons by Bulldog. Like I said, just one of my favorite icon creators. And uh, I just like his, uh, his themes. I think they're awesome. Uh, but we're gonna click done actually here. And once I start getting new icons, I'll start a new home screen page. So the way I like to start this off is I like to use this page as reference or the files. So basically what I've done, if you guys have never seen this, um, is in files, I go to iCloud Drive. I created a folder in iCloud Drive for all of my themes. So every theme that I have has its own folder in here. And here is Ethereal, as you guys can see. So it's pretty straightforward. He'll give you a Dropbox link where you can download it, and then you can install it into your files, and then you can begin creating these icons. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into uh, shortcuts here and I'm gonna start creating these icons. Now it's it's pretty much the same on iOS 15 as it was on iOS 14. Uh, slight, slight changes in shortcuts, but nothing major. If you know how to do it on iOS 14, you will know how to do it on iOS 15. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new shortcut. I'm going to add action scripting open app choose the application and actually I'm gonna use this for reference. We'll start out with uh, messages and I don't know which one I like better. I think the this one I'll use for messages. This one looks pretty cool too, so I just don't know. I'll use the top left. So we'll do messages to start, messages. All right, and then we click the little blue 
settings icon in the upper right. And then we're going to do add to home screen, choose file. And now we can navigate to ethereal, which should be uh, in alphabetical order here. And there is ethereal. All right. So we're going to choose this icon. I'm going to clear the name and add now shortcuts on iOS 15, at least on beta one, it kicks you out of the application, which is super frustrating, but here's the new icon. And what I'm going to do is make a new page. I'm going to disable this page and now we are, now we're off to a start. So uh, again, shortcuts, I'm going to click done and I'm going to delete this one because you don't need the shortcut there for it to open the application. Now I'm going to choose the next one. I think the next one I like to do is Tweetbot. So again, add action, scripting, open app, choose app. I start to get very fast at this because I've done it so much. So Tweetbot, and I'm basically just going to rinse and repeat as we go. And I think there was a Tweetbot icon somewhere down here-ish. Maybe it was up a little bit further. There it is. So we got Tweetbot, we'll add that. And now we have Tweetbot and the messages. I already like these icons. These icons look sweet. Click done here, and again, we'll delete this shortcut because we don't need that. Uh, now I'm gonna go back for reference. I'm trying to think of what the other doc icon I would like to have. Probably just files, since I use files so much. So we'll use this Apple file right there. So again, add action, scripting, open app, app, and then we're gonna open up the files app. And also, if you guys have seen my previous videos where I show you guys how to disable custom icon shortcuts and banners, totally possible on iOS 15 as well. So we're going to go ahead and add this. And that was the files app there and add. So those are the three icons I'm going to have in the dock. Now I'm just going to kind of create icons um, from this list here. So Let's see, where do we want to start here? I'll definitely want to do settings. I think I'll do this one for settings. I like the way that that one looks. I don't know, this one's pretty sweet too though. All right, so we're gonna do one for settings. Just like so, we'll use this one clear the name, add. All right, now we have one additional icon so I can move these to the dock to see how this is gonna look. I think it's gonna look pretty damn cool. All right, so there we go. We got some custom icons. And uh, also, for those of you that are probably gonna ask, this wallpaper uh, is available on my Telegram. My Telegram link is in the description. Uh, so if you guys want this invisible dock wallpaper with the rainbow RGB kind of effect. Uh, just check out my telegram again, link in the description. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and add a new one. Actually, I want to choose the next one I'm going to use. I wonder what this one's for. Is this for the phone? What other icons? I just want to browse them really quickly. I'll do find my, for my air tags, of course, Chrome, Apollo. Contacts looks cool. Discord's awesome too. I should have used this one for messages actually. Uh, that's really cool. I might do that. I'm gonna delete this out. And while it's in my brain, I'm going to go ahead and add that to messages. and add it to the home screen way at the bottom. Clear, add, done. Yeah, I like that one, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so at this point, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut in the video, I'm gonna cut to when I've got all these icons I wanna make made.
Okay, got them all done. It's looking pretty damn sweet. Now at this point, I usually like to rearrange them a little bit just to try to help to balance them a little bit. Um, just to give them a variety or a variation because I feel like the characters are kind of bunched up and stuff. So I like to just uh, move these around a bit to look a certain way. And I'm just kind of winging it right now. So we'll keep, actually we'll keep this over here, that one there. And we will bump this one over here. Something like that. I think that that's pretty cool looking. Uh, and of course now we gotta add the widget back in here. Uh, people have been asking me about that, so that is just a widgy widget. So actually if I go in here and we just go into widgy, uh, it is in the explore section, the widget that I'm using. Um, you should be able to find it here, I believe somewhere. If you just scroll through the explore section of widgy, there it is right there. So digital clock uh, right there. So for those of you that are looking for this widgy, you can get that right from Widgie in the Explorer section. So I'm going to go ahead and add that widget back uh, to the home screen because I think it looks really cool. Having that digital clock, if we can find it here, there it is. And now we'll actually move this down. I like down there and there we go. So um, I think that I'm gonna call that the setup right now. So if people ask me in, in future videos, you know, how did you make your iPhone look like that? I got a dedicated video for it. And like I said, be sure to check out Ethereal by Bulldog. Uh, the links will be down in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this customizing iOS 15 with Ethereal. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.